couple of items arrived from the post yesterday. Um, the first was a couple of these, which are 2200 milliamp hour, 7.4, and the 35C. Now I'm curious to see what effect this has because I went from 25C to 45C on my uh, my Whoop, my Ishin E11, and it made a hell of a difference in terms of punch and also uh, flight length reliability. So I put the date on these, and I've got two of them, so one and two, so I know what I've got. And the other thing that arrived on the same day was these bullnose props. I was going to buy, as people recommended from the States, to buy the Dowell props, but with import duty from the States, uh, the cost is much higher than these um, ones that came direct from China, King Kong. And they seem to be a similar spec. I mean, maybe it's the same thing. They're claiming they're indestructible. So I've gone for the large size, 6045, and I found that these go straight on to the, uh, the Bug 3. So that's a real plus. This experiment with the bullnose props. Um, although they're much less sweep area than the, uh, than the Sima folders, they still, they, because they're bullnose, they still seem to have more sweep area and should be more stable than the original uh, pointy nose um, uh, MGX Bugs 3 original props. So you may have noticed that I had a block of foam in the front here and I was looking at it afterwards and thinking why the hell do I do that because it affects the balance of the bugs um, and now I can slide the battery, the new battery all the way in but I realized the reason I did that was because I favor these Dean T-plugs or Dean's connectors and if I use a little extension like that and push the battery in, the, uh, the cable is bending in a fairly extreme way, which is not really desirable. Uh, where, that, where is it? With the camera? Yeah, like that. So that's why I had it there, so it stuck out a bit further and didn't have such an extreme bend. But as I say, it's not very sensible in terms of, um, of balance for the bugs. So what I did was I made up my own cable. So this is the cable I made up. I got a whole bunch of Dean's connectors, Dean plugs, T plugs, uh, for very, not very much on eBay. And from deceased batteries, I had plenty of uh, XT30s. So the idea is I just plug this. It means I can keep it plugged in without pulling this in and out all the time because they tend to break after a while because they're, they're quite tight and they're a flimsy kind of connector. So with this one, I've got plenty of room to bend around to fit a battery. So that's the story of why I had a block of foam at the front, why I've taken it away, and I'm um, looking forward to trying out the new batteries. So I'm now going to put some of these uh, props on the, uh, on the black bugs so I can try it out with the SQ12 on top. So they come in right hand and left hand packets, which is sensible. I think I got, they're very inexpensive, I think I got uh, 10 pairs. Bring out a couple of left, a couple of right, and then goes that way. So that's that one off. And I just want a prop that slopes that way. And they're self-tightening. And what's quite nice about them is there's no cutting involved. I'll come over here. So there's the Sima props where I had to do a bit of modification, cut the end down, drill them out to 5mm, file the stuff off top and bottom. These ones, uh, they go straight on and the, hu the hub is uh, reasonably narrow, so that that fits all right. So the amount sticking up is fine for tightening up the, uh, the nut. So, now I'll do the other ones. 
So here's the Black Bugs 3 with all of the props, black props installed, all noses. And this is my original bugs that I've mounted the, uh, the camera, the SQ12 on it. So that'll go on there. A couple of rubber bands over it. And to be ready for a trial run. So I thought I'd give my impressions to date. The props are fantastic, so thanks to everybody who's uh, tried to explain to me over the last few months that the bullnose props are the way to go. I completely agree, I'm wrapped. Um, they may fly for a little, not quite so long. Flight's about five minutes, but I'm fine with that. Uh, everything, everything else, particularly the lack of vibration, is fantastic. Um, the Zop batteries are a mixed bag. I mean, they're pretty cheap. I mean, from a reputable vendor, I thought. But one came under voltage, uh, less than uh, 3.4 a cell, I think, but they charged up all right. Uh, the other ones, uh, they, there was a disparity between the two cells, and I'm looking at my gauge at the moment, and I've got 379 on one cell, 369 on the other. And that one didn't fly for anywhere near as long as the others, and it feels slightly puffy on the sides already. But it's kind of tricky because I realise these things deteriorate from the moment that they're manufactured and they didn't cost terribly much so uh, there's the brakes. Um, by comparison, my in terms of punch I don't notice a lot of difference either, even though the 35C, my original uh, Bugs battery decased, which is only 25C punch in 1800, that seemed to last about the same time and also punched about the same rate. So batteries, don't know. Bullnose props from uh, King Kong, absolutely wrapped, so I can recommend them. But hey, it's live and learn, and it's still a fairly inexpensive hobby.